Here's how this incredibly simple close range practice trick can allow you to successfully aim some of the hardest shots in snooker. This is Break From Life. Welcome back and if it's your first time watching one of our videos then it's fantastic to have you here. Have you noticed that every time a player misses a shot that they always end up blaming their cueing? You always want to deliver the cue online without any side spin, but if you don't, it's unlikely to make you miss by far. It would be unusual even on mid-range shots for a poor delivery to push the object ball much wider than the jaws of the pocket. If you're missing simpler shots by further, then it has to be the way you're lining the shot up. You can even line straight shots up wrong. If you don't believe me, give this a try. Set yourself up a straightforward shot like this. Then just go to play it. And when you get down on the shot without miscuing, try to hit it as badly as you can. Still potted it. I couldn't have really hit that any worse. My arm was literally out here. Let's do it again. Let's go the other way this time. We'll manage to miss that one. It's surprising once you have everything lined up right how difficult it is to throw the object ball off course. It's actually a challenge to make the shot miss and someone we don't want to miss is Hassan from Silicot, Pakistan. Obviously if your cue action is poor you're going to struggle from distance but in the critical part of the game in position where a game of snooker is either won or lost then your cue action is already good enough to play the majority of shots so long as you can line them up right. And not only is the practice trick I've been using very good at helping you play any shot at the right angle it means you can instantly practice the shots you're having the greatest trouble with. Ultimately, this means bigger breaks. You can still miss shots through poor cueing, but... The great thing about this practice trick is it allows you to get the alignment part right for any shot you might play. Once you're lining the shots up right, especially the ones you were having trouble with before, you'll be surprised at how much this builds confidence. It also gives you the freedom to concentrate more on the positional shots you need to play. And better position simply means more shots where you only have to get the alignment right. This is how you'll sometimes see a player's game improve massively in a very short space of time, but how does it work? Well first we have Thomas Mobley from Smokes in Southern Carolina. When a top snooker player is playing well, they'll feel connected to the shot right up to the point where the cue ball strikes the object ball. And if you can do this, you then just have to make the decision of where you want the object ball to go. Once you can do this, it feels like the cue ball's path is just a further extension of your arm. And this little trick allows any player to be able to feel this at a base level, so you can then scale it up later. All you need to do is just practice for a little while until you find some shots you're struggling to pot. Then just remember roughly the shot you're having trouble with. Once you've found a shot that you're missing, like this pink that I'm having a little bit of trouble with at the moment. Then what you want to do is get a load of balls together. Now if that was roughly the shot we're missing, you want to replicate that but from really close. So that's pretty much the same angle. Just place the cue ball as close as you can get without having any worry that you might double hit it. A lot of the time you'll find you'll miss this simplified version of the shot in exactly the same way. And this means it can't be your cueing that's wrong, it has to be the way you're lining the shot up. To be able to line the shot up correctly, you first need to work out where the cue ball needs to go. From then on, a straight line from where the cue ball is to where it'll end up will give you a target on the object ball. From then on, if you bring your cue in on this line, aiming your tip directly at the target you just picked on the object ball, then it's going to feel exactly like the cue ball stuck to the end of your cue and you're simply manoeuvring it into the right place to actually pot the red. And you know the great thing about having the cue ball this close to the object ball is the cue ball doesn't have time to go offline. So long as you're striking the cue ball in the center, you can completely ignore it's there and just deliver your tip to the point you've picked on the object ball. Because this almost completely takes away any other issues you might have, you can focus on aiming the ball like this on every single shot until you find you're consistently potting the ball. 
This is precisely why people say professional snooker players see the shots differently to you, because they're automatically seeing the correct angle for the shot, which makes you so much more confident that you're going to pot the ball. And you'll notice after you've given this practice trick a go, how much easier the full shot feels when you know exactly where to strike the object ball and how much of a difference this can make. Of course you can use this trick on any shot on the table, but you do have to do something different with thin cuts, because you'll notice here the centre of the cue ball isn't actually striking the object ball. This means to use this trick on these sort of shots you do have to do something different. But it works just as well on thinner shots. Again, start by recreating the angle from as close as you can sensibly get the cue ball to the object ball. For shots like these, when the balls aren't spotted, you may want to use blocks of chalk just to give you a rough guide as to where to replace the balls every time. As I was explaining earlier, if we draw a straight line between where the centre of the white is and where it needs to go here, then it doesn't actually come into contact with the red, as it would be incredibly difficult to line up the tip of my cue with the thin air next to the red, I'm going to use this side of the cue ball to align the shot. I'm picking the point on the red where the edge of the white will strike. Initially you may find it harder to pick up the correct angle on these sort of thin shots, but eventually, once you've learnt the angle, you'll view these shots as no harder to pot than straighter shots. Over time you'll find it's great practice to help improve your break building and if you want to improve your break building even more then why not try our video Snooker Break Building Routines Pressure Trainer. It's in the card right now and on the Break From Life channel page along with a load of other videos to help you dominate the game and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel. Which is hopefully exactly what Sebastian from Bogota, Colombia has done. Once you've practiced this enough it should just feel like you're pushing the cue ball directly to the point it needs to go on the object ball. As I've said before, this is all you really need to focus on for the majority of shots in a break. Notice how fewer shots I have to play here where the cue ball is any distance from the object ball. It's all about just lining the shots up at the right angle. After trying this practice trick, it just feels like you're directly pushing the cue ball to exactly where it needs to go on the object ball. And the more you practice, the more it feels like you have this weird sort of connection from further and further away from the object ball. Ultimately, it just keeps a break going, even if your cue action isn't really that solid. Ultimately, though, everybody would love to be able to cue straighter, and that's what our video Snooker Straight Cueing Exercises to Improve is all about. And why not practice straight cueing with our video Snooker Cueing Practice Exercises and Drills? And remember, don't just watch, play, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.